Instincts are innate behaviors that animals are born with, allowing them to respond to specific stimuli in their environment without the need for prior learning. These behaviors are genetically programmed and are crucial for an animal's survival and reproduction. For example, the migration of birds, the web building of spiders, and the hunting techniques of predators are all driven by instincts. It is fascinating to note that some instincts are so deeply ingrained that they can be observed in animals shortly after birth, such as a newborn calf standing and walking within hours of being born. This showcases the power and efficiency of instinctual behaviors. Studies have shown that instincts can vary greatly among different species. For instance, while some animals have a strong instinct to protect their offspring, others may prioritize their own survival over that of their young. The diversity of instincts in the animal kingdom is truly remarkable. In terms of numbers, researchers estimate that there are thousands of different instincts exhibited by various animal species, each serving a specific purpose in the animal's life. Understanding instincts is essential for comprehending animal behavior and evolutionary processes. By studying instincts, scientists can gain insights into the adaptive advantages that certain behaviors provide to different species. This knowledge can also help in conservation efforts by identifying behaviors that are crucial for the survival of endangered species. Instincts are a fundamental aspect of behavioral biology, shaping the way animals interact with their environment and ensuring their continued existence in the natural world. Instincts in animals can manifest in various forms, each serving a specific purpose in the animal's life. One common type of instinct is the feeding instinct which drives animals to seek out and consume food to meet their nutritional needs. This instinct is crucial for the survival of individuals and the continuation of the species. Interestingly, some animals exhibit a hoarding instinct, where they gather and store food for future use. Squirrels, for example, are known for their instinctual behavior of collecting and hiding nuts to sustain themselves during times of scarcity. Another fascinating type of instinct is the migratory instinct observed in many species. Birds, fish, and mammals undertake long and arduous journeys across vast distances to reach breeding grounds or more favorable habitats. The ability to navigate these migratory routes with precision is a remarkable feat driven by instinctual cues such as celestial navigation or magnetic fields. Protective instincts are also prevalent in the animal kingdom with parents displaying fierce protective behaviors towards their offspring. For instance, mother bears are known to fiercely defend their cubs against potential threats, showcasing the strength of maternal instincts. Social instincts are another intriguing category where animals exhibit behaviors that promote cooperation and group cohesion. Pack animals like wolves demonstrate social instincts through coordinated hunting strategies and hierarchical structures within the pack. In addition to these common types of instincts, animals also display specialized instincts tailored to their specific ecological niche. For example, the nesting instinct in birds drives them to build intricate nests using materials found in their environment. Weaver birds, known for their elaborate woven nests, showcase the diversity and complexity of instinctual behaviors in the animal kingdom. Some animals exhibit territorial instincts, marking and defending their territory against intruders to secure resources and mating opportunities. The intricate dance of courtship rituals seen in many species is driven by mating instincts, guiding individuals in their pursuit of suitable partners. It is estimated that there are thousands of distinct instincts observed in animals, each finely tuned to enhance their chances of survival and reproductive success. The diversity of instincts reflects the adaptability and resilience of different species in responding to environmental challenges. By studying the types of instincts in animals, researchers gain valuable insights into the evolutionary history and behavioral strategies of diverse species, shedding light on the intricate web of life on our planet. Genetics plays a significant role in shaping instinctual behaviors in animals providing a genetic blueprint that influences their responses to various stimuli. One fascinating aspect of genetics in instinctual behavior is the concept of heritability, 
which refers to the degree to which a behavior is influenced by genetic factors. Studies have shown that certain instincts, such as the nesting behavior in birds or the burrowing behavior in rodents, have a high heritability, indicating a strong genetic component. For example, researchers have found that the ability of honeybees to perform complex dances to communicate the location of food sources is genetically determined, with specific genes influencing this intricate behavior. The role of genetics in instinctual behavior is further highlighted by studies on animal breeding, where selective breeding has been used to enhance specific instincts in domesticated animals. For instance, through selective breeding, dogs have been bred for their herding instincts, resulting in breeds like border collies that excel in herding livestock. In terms of numbers, genetic studies have identified numerous genes that are associated with instinctual behaviors in animals. For example, research on fruit flies has revealed specific genes that regulate their courtship behaviors, highlighting the genetic basis of mating instincts in these insects. Additionally, studies on mice have identified genes that influence their nesting behaviors, shedding light on the genetic mechanisms underlying this instinctual behavior. The intricate interplay between genetics and instinctual behavior underscores the complex nature of animal behavior and the underlying genetic factors that shape these behaviors. Learning in animals is a fascinating area of study that reveals the remarkable cognitive abilities of various species. One interesting aspect of animal learning is observational learning, where animals acquire new behaviors by observing and imitating others. For example, Chimpanzees have been observed learning to use tools by watching other members of their group, showcasing the power of observational learning in primates. In terms of numbers, a study on dolphins found that they can learn new behaviors by observing and mimicking their peers, highlighting the social nature of learning in these intelligent marine mammals. Another intriguing form of learning in animals is classical conditioning, famously demonstrated by Ivan Pavlov with his experiments on dogs. Through classical conditioning, animals learn to associate a neutral stimulus with a meaningful outcome, leading to a conditioned response. For instance, sea slugs have been shown to exhibit classical conditioning, where they learn to associate a specific stimulus with a reward, demonstrating the universality of this learning mechanism across different species. Operant conditioning is another important form of learning in animals where behaviors are shaped through reinforcement or punishment. Studies have shown that rats can learn to navigate mazes more efficiently through operant conditioning, with rewards such as food serving as powerful motivators for learning. The neurobiological basis of learning in animals is a complex interplay of neural circuits and neurotransmitters that facilitate the formation of memories and the acquisition of new skills. Comparative studies on learning have revealed that different species exhibit varying learning capabilities, with some species showing remarkable cognitive flexibility and problem-solving skills. Understanding the mechanisms of learning in animals not only sheds light on their cognitive abilities, but also provides valuable insights into human learning and behavior. Classical conditioning is a form of learning that was famously demonstrated by Russian physiologist Ivan Pavlov in his experiments with dogs. In one of his most well-known experiments, Pavlov rang a bell before presenting food to the dogs. Over time, the dogs began to associate the sound of the bell with the arrival of food, leading them to salivate at the sound of the bell alone, even in the absence of food. This simple yet powerful demonstration of classical conditioning revolutionized our understanding of how associations are formed in the brain. Interestingly, classical conditioning is not limited to dogs or laboratory settings. In fact, humans also exhibit classical conditioning in various aspects of daily life. For example, the smell of a particular food may trigger memories of a past event, showcasing how our brains form associations between stimuli. Studies have shown that classical conditioning can have lasting effects on behavior with learned associations influencing decision-making and emotional responses. The process of classical conditioning involves the formation of neural connections in the brain, where the neutral stimulus becomes linked to the unconditioned stimulus through repeated pairings. This leads to the development of a conditioned response to the previously neutral stimulus. 
The power of classical conditioning lies in its ability to shape behavior through learned associations, highlighting the adaptive nature of this form of learning. Research has revealed that classical conditioning can occur in a wide range of species, from insects to mammals, underscoring its evolutionary significance. By studying classical conditioning, scientists gain valuable insights into the mechanisms underlying learning and memory, providing a deeper understanding of how organisms adapt to their environments. Operant conditioning is a form of learning that involves the modification of behavior through reinforcement or punishment. One interesting aspect of operant conditioning is the concept of shaping, where complex behaviors are taught by reinforcing successive approximations of the desired behavior. For example, training a pigeon to peck a target involves rewarding the bird for behaviors that gradually resemble the final pecking action. This method of shaping allows for the development of intricate behaviors through a series of small steps. In terms of numbers, a study on operant conditioning in rats found that the animals were able to learn to press a lever for a food reward with remarkable speed and accuracy. The rats quickly associated the lever-pressing behavior with the delivery of food, demonstrating the effectiveness of operant conditioning in shaping behavior. Another interesting fact about operant conditioning is the distinction between positive and negative reinforcement. Positive reinforcement involves the addition of a desirable stimulus to increase the likelihood of a behavior occurring again, while negative reinforcement involves the removal of an aversive stimulus to achieve the same effect. Studies have shown that both forms of reinforcement can effectively modify behavior in various species, highlighting the versatility of operant conditioning. Additionally, operant conditioning can have long-lasting effects on behavior, with learned behaviors persisting even in the absence of reinforcement. This phenomenon, known as extinction, occurs when a previously reinforced behavior decreases over time due to lack of reinforcement. Understanding the principles of operant conditioning provides valuable insights into how behaviors are learned and maintained in animals, including humans. By studying operant conditioning, researchers can uncover the underlying mechanisms that drive behavior change and adaptation in different species. Observational learning is a fascinating form of learning observed in various species, where individuals acquire new behaviors by observing others. One interesting aspect of observational learning is that it can occur across different contexts and environments, highlighting the flexibility and adaptability of this learning mechanism. Studies have shown that observational learning is particularly prevalent in social species, where individuals learn from the actions and experiences of group members. For example, primates like chimpanzees and bonobos have been observed learning tool-use behaviors by watching and imitating more experienced individuals. Interestingly, observational learning is not limited to closely related species. Dolphins, known for their complex social structures, also engage in observational learning with young dolphins learning hunting techniques by observing older members of their pod. The transmission of knowledge and skills through observational learning plays a crucial role in the survival and success of social groups. In terms of numbers, a study on observational learning in birds found that some species are capable of learning novel foraging techniques by observing conspecifics, showcasing the cognitive abilities of avian species. Additionally, research on observational learning in octopuses has revealed that these intelligent cephalopods can learn to open jars and solve puzzles by watching other octopuses perform the tasks. The diversity of species that exhibit observational learning underscores the widespread nature of this learning mechanism in the animal kingdom. Understanding observational learning provides valuable insights into the social dynamics and cognitive abilities of different species shedding light on how knowledge and skills are transmitted within animal communities. The neurobiological basis of learning involves intricate processes in the brain that facilitate the acquisition and retention of new information. One interesting aspect of the neurobiology of learning is the role of neurotransmitters, which are chemical messengers that transmit signals between neurons. Studies have shown that neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin play key roles in modulating learning and memory processes. For example, 
Dopamine is involved in reward-based learning, where positive outcomes reinforce behavior, while serotonin is implicated in mood regulation and emotional learning. The interplay of these neurotransmitters in the brain contributes to the formation of memories and the establishment of learned behaviors. In terms of numbers, research has revealed that the hippocampus, a region of the brain associated with memory formation, undergoes structural changes during the learning process. Studies have shown that synaptic connections between neurons in the hippocampus strengthen when new information is learned, leading to the consolidation of memories. Additionally, neuroimaging studies have provided insights into the neural circuits involved in learning and memory. For instance, functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, Studies have identified brain regions such as the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus that are activated during learning tasks, highlighting the complex network of brain regions involved in cognitive processes. Interestingly, studies on animal models have shown that environmental enrichment, such as exposure to stimulating environments with opportunities for learning and exploration, can enhance neuroplasticity and promote learning. These findings underscore the dynamic nature of the brain and its capacity to adapt and change in response to learning experiences. By unraveling the neurobiological mechanisms underlying learning, researchers gain a deeper understanding of how the brain processes information and adapts to new challenges. Comparative studies on learning have provided fascinating insights into the cognitive abilities of different species. For example, research on octopuses has revealed their remarkable problem-solving skills and ability to learn complex tasks through observational learning. Octopuses have been observed opening jars, navigating mazes, and even mimicking the behaviors of other octopuses, showcasing their cognitive flexibility. In terms of numbers, a study on pigeons found that these birds are capable of learning to discriminate between different visual stimuli with impressive accuracy. Pigeons trained to peck at a specific shape among various distractors demonstrated high levels of discrimination learning, highlighting their visual acuity and cognitive capabilities. Additionally, comparative studies on learning have shown that some species exhibit specialized learning abilities tailored to their ecological niche. For instance, bees are known for their exceptional learning and memory skills, enabling them to navigate complex floral landscapes and communicate the location of food sources to other members of the hive. The intricate dance language of honeybees, known as the waggle dance, is a remarkable example of how bees convey spatial information through symbolic communication. Interestingly, studies on social learning in meerkats have revealed that these cooperative mammals can learn from the experiences of group members to improve their foraging efficiency and predator avoidance strategies. By comparing the learning abilities of different species, researchers gained valuable insights into the evolutionary pressures that have shaped cognitive processes across the animal kingdom, highlighting the diversity and complexity of learning mechanisms in nature. Behavioral biology research has revealed fascinating insights into the cognitive abilities of animals. For example, Studies on crows have shown that these intelligent birds are capable of using tools to solve complex problems, demonstrating their problem-solving skills. In terms of numbers, research on dolphins has revealed that these marine mammals exhibit advanced social learning abilities, with individuals learning from each other to develop unique hunting strategies. Additionally, studies on elephants have highlighted their exceptional memory capabilities, with elephants demonstrating long-term recall of past events and locations. These findings have important implications for conservation efforts, as understanding the cognitive abilities of animals can inform strategies for protecting and preserving endangered species in their natural habitats.